is Serena, and in today's video, we're going to be cash stuffing for the third week in November. So, that for me is November 20th through November 26th. And we are stuffing the second half of my bi-weekly paycheck, which is 1067 um, So, we should have 537 for this week. We did the other half the first week. Or last week, we did the other half of this. And now we're going to do the rest of that amount that I made. I like to split my bi-weekly paychecks in half. That way I have money for both weeks. I'm not tempted to spend all of it at once. So, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 60, no, 80, 90, 400, or 500, no, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500, 505, 10, 15, 25, 35, 36, and 37. So 537 is all here. So we can get to the cash stuffing. We're going to start off with my bills, which we start with foam, which is going to get $30 this week. As usual, These my bills always get the same amount. Why did I put 25 30 so now my phone bill has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 90. $90 in there. Apple is going to get $5. So we have 5, 10, and 15. Cricket is going to get five. So now it has 15. Kindle Unlimited is also getting five. Which now it has 15. Uh, Instant Ink is getting 5 as well. So now it will have 15. And then last in bills getting stuffed is car insurance for 30. So now car insurance has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 90. I don't stuff my one month ahead because we're st we stuffed one month ahead in these. So what I have left after my unstuffing um, some of my bills, we have 50, 65, 66, and 67 left in one month ahead. And then yearly bills is going to get 25. And for my yearly bills, YouTube Premium has 150. Cricut has 110. Spotify has 100. And we're adding this 25 to Canva. Which now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, and 5. And for this to be fully funded, we need $25 more. So it will be at 130. But for yearly bills, we have 465. I'll probably get most of those at the end of the year or beginning of January. Of next year, I'm not too positive yet.
but we'll see. Now we're gonna move on to my wallet. I have some receipts that I'll scan into my Fitch Rewards to earn some points. And then we only have a few cents here. Like, really, we have 55 cents. For my coin jar later, we have $2 in my dollar saving challenge left to go to my do dollar saving challenge. But food is going to get 50, so I did two 20s and a 10. So for 50 for the week. And then my giving envelope is getting five. We have $5 from last week. And now we're going to add another five. So we have ten in there. And now my wallet is all ready to go for the third week in November. Now we're gonna do my purple binder. I'm gonna stuff $50 in gas. So now I have 150. At least I like to at least have a hundred in there as a buffer, just in case I do overspend in gas. Groceries is empty, and we're not stuffing it. Starbucks is empty. Not stuffing it. Same with eating out. Um, but buffer, we're going to give $5 to it. So now it's going to have $5. Okay, for my 100 envelope box, I've got to get it. Okay, here she is. We are stuffing 117, which we are going to do number 27 and 89. So 25, 26, 27. Going into 27. And then 89, we're going to do 90. I just ran it up by a dollar. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90. I will do that sometimes if it's close enough to 90 or whatever. I will round up just because I don't want too many ones in the envelopes. It gets too bulky if I do that. So there is that. And I will spin the wheel at the end of the video to get the numbers that we're going to stuff for next week. Which we're going to start doing two a week. Um, instead of the, see if we do one or two. Just because I have goals that I want to and we do not count that. I want to reach or finish that by July of next year. So I've got to stuff at least two every single week to hopefully achieve that. Essentials today is actually getting 20 because we're in the negative right now. Um, I did a, overspend a little, so um, all of this is going to be gone. But we'll put a 20 in here. So now, as of now, we have 40. Um, but we really don't because I have to take that out. And clothes has 20. Self-care has 20. Date night has ten dollars. Household has ten. Books has twenty. Shopping is empty. And then hobbies is going to get ten dollars. But I'll have to take out five from this one, I believe. Um, so that we can be out of the negative for that. Negative for that. Sick days. It's not going to get anything and it's at zero. And then extra pay has 10. And then my buffer in this one is at zero. 
that's it for that. Next up is my emergency fund, which I'm going to give $20 to. So now I have 1,000, 100, 200 in the bank, 250, 70, and 90. So $1,290 for emergency of a goal of 10,000. All right, my car, we have 100 in car tag, 100 in oil change, $1,000 in my emergency fund, and we're working on repairs to get it up to 1,000. So we're gonna do 40 this week. So now I have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 680, and 685. So I have $1,885 in my car. The goal by the end of the year, by the way, if you don't know, is to have at least $2,000 in here. Um, but if I could get repairs fully funded, that would be awesome. But if not, I don't really, you know, care all too much about that. Now, since I had to cover some negative that I went in um, as of hobbies, um, essentials, and, well, actually, I didn't go negative in essentials, but I need needed some money because I have to replace my toothbrush head, and then I also need some more deodorant, so I needed some money for the those items, so I had to give more money to that, and we're already ahead on this, actually, of reaching our goal of 200 in th all three of these by the end of the year, so I decided just to skip it. But we do have the same amount in medical savings and Roth IRA, and that is 100, 150, 170, 175, and 180. So, all of these have 180. And we only need 20 more for all three. So, uh, we're good on this for now. All right, now for moving, I did do the tracker, if you can see it here. So hopefully you guys like it. It's uh, It took me a while. They're not in order. I don't know what happened to the order, but they're on here and they have the goals of each. So if you don't know, I will explain a little bit. So moving, the ultimate goal is 4,000. My moving fees, I want to have a thousand. So each of these are thirty dollars, and I already filled out what I had, so this is already up to date. Uh, my one month ahead slash bills, I want to have fifteen hundred in, and each of these are fifty dollars. Moving supplies, uh, we want three hundred dollars at least, so each of these icons are thirty dollars. Needs slash necessities, which is just like you know things that I need. Um, when you first move in, like I don't have a broom, I don't have my own vacuum cleaner, things like that. $300 for that, so 30 for each of these stars. First furniture, I'm going to need a dining room table, chairs, couch. So we'll do 500 from that, so 50 for each of these couches. Decorations, just a little bit here and there. $20 for each of these plants. And then miscellaneous, anything I didn't budget for, each of these hearts, $20. So I did want to do that just because I wanted to know what each of the goals were. And when I accomplished each of those, that way we can move on to stuffing more in other ones that I need more money in. So that is that. We're not finished um, completing any of those yet. So we can just, you know, keep stuffing these. So as a whole, we're putting 65 into moving and fees is going to get 15 of that. So now 
Moving fees has 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 150. So that's good. Bills is going to get 15. Which now it has 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. So almost at 100. Needs is going to get $10. So now Needs has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, and 57. Moving Supplies is going to get $5. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, and 52. Decorations is going to get 5 20, 30, 35, 40, and 41. Furniture is going to get 10. 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, and 3. So, 73. And then miscellaneous is just going to get the $5. So, we have... 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. So, in total for moving, we should have $502, which is good. That one is coming along, which I'm so excited for. I'm excited to be done with this one. But that won't be for a while, so... And then my electronics has 200 and that's in the bank. Next is birthdays, which is gonna get 20, but I actually owe myself $19. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and grab that one. Because it'll be 19 and we'll put this one in the dollar saving challenge. So, birthdays is empty. Christmas is going to get 25. I have 250 for Cody and then one for mom, dad, Dakota, Larkin, and others. So, that's 500. So, we're adding 25 to my Christmas. So, now it has 20, 40, 60, 575. So Christmas has eight twenty-five all together. And what I had left was five dollars. So five dollars is gonna go into other holidays, which we have fifty in Thanksgiving. And then Black Friday is going to get the five. So one hundred in the bank, ten, twenty, five, thirty-five. So we have 185. And I probably probably will not spend Thanksgiving money. So if I don't, it will go into Black Friday. Which will be good. Travel has a hundred. Budgeting supplies has twenty. And furniture has 50. Couldn't stuff those this week, so didn't get to stuff them. Now I'm going to add my ones. We're adding one, two, and three. So just three this week. Because we had to put four of it to um, some expenses. Because I overspent some categories and so that's our ones this binder is getting big i need to count it we have to wait till the end of the year which i can't wait okay so now let's see i will spin the wheel twice 
So zoom you in. We'll spin one time to see what we get. I didn't mean to put that in there. There we go. All right, 53. So we're going to do envelope 53. Um, but I'll do, I'll stuff 50, 55 in the envelope, but we'll do 53. And what other number will we do? Sixty, which we will just do sixty because that's not you don't have any ones. So that's a hundred and fifteen. So almost the same as this week. Just crazy. So I'm gonna do let's see. Uh the envelope sixty and fifty-three is this one oops there you go so we do those two and i'll put those up there so that's my little note and yeah so we're gonna stuff that in the 100 envelope challenge next week and yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little cash dummy video if you did please leave me a like and a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next cash stuffing video. Bye guys.